Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be trying out the Ubiquiti license plate reader camera. This thing is huge. Um, I currently have a AI Pro camera installed here for license plate detection. Uh, the hope is that this one is going to be able to capture more plates at nighttime specifically because uh, that's when a lot of the incidents that happen here are. And uh, it's really um, kind of a issue with the AI Pro camera to where it cannot detect plates at nighttime as well as it can during the daytime. So. Um, it's really important um, to always have working license plate detections here and the AI, the AI Pro camera is just not cutting it for this application. So uh, the plan today is to mount this license plate reader camera and kind of see how good it is. Um, I have never used one of these. It is pretty new as well. Um, so we're going to be trying this camera out and seeing all there is to know about the license plate reader. So let's get this camera set up and adopted. You'll see the nice light illuminating on the camera as well as the infrared light um, that will really, really help with the nighttime detections. So what I'm going to do now is adopt the camera. Uh, I cannot show this, what I can do is I can show over here. So we're gonna click adopt. Uh, there's really not much more to it. Uh, it's going to adopt, it's gonna go through an update and that is pretty much it. So I'm um, under recording manager. I'm going to say we always want to continuously record. Um, and I also want to create AI events with the license plate and vehicle detection. Um, scrolling down, we do want to record in 4K and we want to use the standard recording mode with auto compression and auto frame per second. Um, we also want to turn on camera name and time on the overlay. That is just my preference personally. Um, I do like to um, have those on the camera. We also have alarm detections that I'm not going to get into today, but those could actually unlock doors and do all kinds of stuff like that. So um, here is the settings for the camera. I'm literally gonna leave everything on the default settings. Um, one thing we can do is there is um, optical zoom on the camera, so we can zoom this camera in um, up to 3X zoom, um, and that will give us kind of a tighter view um, of the license plates, and that will help with detections as well. Um, but that means we can turn our attention to how we are going to mount the camera. So I think for this part, uh, let's head outside and we, we and we will go check out how to mount the camera. So unfortunately due to the wind, it was extremely unaudible. You could not hear a single word I was saying. Uh, but with that being said, uh, I've got the license plate reading camera um, ready to go. The old camera is there, that's the cable that I'm holding. Um, and basically it is just going to be a pull mount um, using the mounts in the box. You'll see these weather covers for the ethernet cable, which will essentially allow me to um, seal the connection between the patch cable coming from the power and the cable going in or from the camera. So that's what those do. They are just the weather plugs. They'll go around the cable, kind of hold it on nice and tight there and keep it nice and secure. And once again, it was very windy. So here I am just standing here for some reason. And uh, this is the camera. It's mounted. Uh, it's pull mounted really tight. You'll see that cable coming down is the cable that it's plugged into. Eventually the camera is going to be a lot higher up so someone can't just unplug it. Uh, but that is what it looks like. So unfortunately at nighttime um, last night, the camera was in kind of a boot loop. Um, so I ordered this PoE injector that is 30 watts. And the hope is that the new injector I ordered should be enough power to run the camera. I'm slightly convinced that the old injector was only about 15 watts. So that means there would not be enough power for the additional infrared and the additional lighting that this new camera has. So we're gonna try that out today. We're gonna go put this up. I have to get on a ladder, of course, because it's a little high up. We'll put this up and we'll see if this makes any difference tonight. All right, so I grabbed the ladder and we just got the power adapter switched out from the 15 watt to the 30 watt power adapter. Um, the camera still turns on just like it did before, um, but I'm hoping that at nighttime it's going to be a lot better uh, in terms of the fact that it should actually be working this time. Um, like I said last time, at night it was kind of in somewhat of a boot loop to where it was kind of cycling its power and it was not actually um, capturing any plates at nighttime. So um, we'll come back with an update probably tomorrow morning and we'll take a look and hope somebody actually drove around here at nighttime uh, so we can see uh, if the actual license plate reading works at nighttime. Um, and on the old camera, it somewhat worked if it was kind of like dusk, um, but it never worked truly in the dark. And um, I'm hoping that the night vision on this camera is strong enough that it can actually capture more plates. So we'll find out um, tomorrow. So I was going about 40-ish miles an hour, we'll say, down the driveway. 
Um, it is a quite long driveway, so that's how I was able to get up to speed um, pretty fast. And it is still a pretty slow um, driveway in terms of people driving on it. Like people typically don't haul down the driveway. Like they, they, it's pretty slow. Um, so with that being said, it is interesting because not only did it get my plate going 40 miles an hour, it also got like four other ones in the span of like probably five minutes. So I'm pulling up the license plate detection here on Unify Protect and in the past 13 minutes actually, uh, it has captured five plates, myself included, and it is doing them very well. Um, I don't wanna like necessarily show the license plate numbers because they're not mine and I don't wanna show mine either. Um, but it is really interesting how dark the camera is right now. So you can really, really only see super bright lights or the actual license plates. It seems as if the camera is just completely black um, and I can actually show you this here. So if I pop this, oh, I can't. So you'll see if I show the camera right here, this is literally the camera. So it is black except for it, except for a few uh, lights up there, um, completely black. So um, that is kind of interesting. So you might think like it's kind of a pointless camera to have. I, I could say, I don't know. I mean, I could go both ways on it. it it's kind of pointless in the sense that it's not gonna capture the actual car. Um, but this site though, there is a lot of cameras in the parking lot, which means um, it will be able to pre much see whatever car it is like the model and stuff you, you should be able to see that from any other camera there's a lot of cameras nearby that area there's probably three or four i'm looking at them now so it, it can pretty much pick up the, the the car pretty easily um you can't see who's inside of it really but if it's something that happened they likely were outside of the car anyways so um that's just something to consider there so really it, it's really meant for just scanning the plates and i will say during the daytime it also scans them very well um I, it is meeting my expectations during daytime I can't say this confidently, but it looks like it almost got every single one during the day today. So um, that was really cool to see. The other AI Pro camera doesn't really capture them all during the day. And that's just, it's not made for license plate detection. This is a license plate detecting camera. So um, there should be more accuracy there as well. With that being said, I think it's definitely worth the price. I think what you want to do, um, and they do say on their support website as well, you do want to have a secondary camera somewhere nearby to kind of capture the actual car, the actual, um, maybe someone in the car, maybe something facing the car. I don't know. Um, this camera is technically face, facing the way out that people would drive out of the driveway. So um, that is something to consider. It's really just meant for plates. Um, but if you do wanna see who's in the car or what the car is, you'll wanna have some kind of camera nearby. That is about all I have for this video, guys. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions about the license plate reading camera, uh, please leave a comment down below. Uh, it's really odd to me how it's the same price as the AI Pro camera, but it's got so many more features. I don't know why you wouldn't just buy this as an AI Pro. Um, it's literally got everything that AI Pro does, but also all the nice nice night vision stuff that you don't have to use. You can turn off the license plate ring mode and just use it as a normal camera. So, I don't know. Really interesting stuff. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching. I'll stop yapping. Have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next video.